what I got here is a two by two inch M50 grade magnet that I bolted together and got on a heavy line. And I'm going to be casting it out. This thing's got an immense amount of pull. It's incredible. I don't even know what the rating is, but you don't even want to get anywhere near metal. It'll stick, and I basically bolted it to a length of string, and I'm going to be tossing it out in the Mississippi River, and we're going to see what we, uh, if we can come up with anything. Where I'm at is on a, a wall of a block and dam where people uh, fish here a lot. A lot of times the water could possibly be up, up to here, and you'd be standing up there. But you generally hear the water's never lower than this, so if there's something in here, nobody knows without taking a magnet in and finding it. I'm gonna hook something. Old rusty pair of, and they still work, wire snips. Nice buzz bait. Get some more uh, older wire snippers. And just a ton of hooks, nails, bottle cap, old Budweiser, some pliers. Them are, them will clean up. Piece of angle iron. A sinker. Locked up pair of pliers. What the hell that is, but a couple little baits. Great big treble hook. Some more fishing hooks. These are usable. Got a spreader of some sort. Another pair of pliers. These are good. And then a lock blade knife. Actually, don't look too bad. Real rusty pair of pliers. They work. Either I got a big piece of steel or something of value. Frickin' pipe. Big chunk of metal. Some, uh, fishing players that are actually in uh, pretty good shape yet. Piece of metal, a jig, and we got something very heavy. Big chunk of metal or Concrete with a metal bolt. You're talking about 20 pounds. Another old pair of pliers. <laughs> Some real good little pliers here. Oh, some nice ones. Well, that's not a cheap pair of pliers. Beautiful fishing pliers to take uh, the hooks out of a fish's mouth. Oh, nice little fishing pole stand. Piece of railing. Look at this. Well, here we are. This is what I basically found for the pliers and amongst the baits and. Uh, sinkers and that but I got two real good sets of pliers here I just clean these up that's why my hands are dirty um a set of eagle claws work real well 
probably twenty to thirty dollars for them pair. Um, all these other needle bows work good. This is real a real old pair that's been in that water forever. Well, an awful long time. Um, these are be working and a real nice set of little little pinchers that I'll be throwing in my tackle box. Probably want to stem there. And of course that and the knife end up working. Pretty neat for something to do with the fish aren't biting. Oh and also these I haven't cleaned them up yet but I'm sure they'll, they'll actually clean up. But I don't know how many here had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten or eleven pair of pliers. Ram air, Trans Am.